have such a love-hate relationship with Ikea. I feel like people in there are aggressive. It's probably the most aggressive shopping experience. I'm being bumped into from all sides. People are rushing past me. We're all just here to get some meatballs and shelves. It's not that serious. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So yesterday I went into Ikea to pick up Carter a little play kitchen. And I hadn't been into an Ikea in probably two years or more. I got caught in the maze just like everyone else does and something happened. It's like the heavens opened and I was just inspired by all of the different products they had that I could use to organize. So that is what we are going to be talking about today. I have so many different things, so many things. Ikea is in 38 countries, there's over 300 stores. So I'm hoping for my international viewers out there, these products are going to be more accessible to you. If at any point you're watching and you're thinking, I like this video, I like her, then definitely subscribe, I would love to have you. If you're watching this and you're not thinking you like me, that's okay too, I might grow on you. We are so close to 900,000 subscribers, I have a massive giveaway coming up, so look out for that. And with all of that said, let's jump into it. All right, first thing that caught my eye was this lazy Susan. Here's what I wanna know, who is this Susan woman? Why was she so lazy? What happened to Susan? Okay, so what I was thinking for this is to put it in the refrigerator and use it for your condiments. I feel like I've seen this on Pinterest somewhere. So instead of having to reach all the way to the back of the shelf, you could put all of your products on this and then just twist and grab whatever you need. Up next is this rubber bin. And this was calling my name because I feel like this would be perfect for Carter's outdoor toys. He loves running around in the backyard. We have so many toys and they're just everywhere. And because this is rubber, it's going to be weatherproof, waterproof. Or do I need something with a lid? Now these stainless steel magazine racks or file holders, there are so many creative ways to use these around your house. You can use these in your pantry and put your potatoes or onions in these so they're easy, quick grab. You could lay them on their side and use it as a shelf. I also use a magazine rack under my bathroom sink and I stack my washcloths in these. Now this next one really got me excited. Here it is. <laughs> so I think this is supposed to be used to organize your scarves, but I was thinking I could hang this in Carter's nursery and use it for his stuffed animals. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. I will show a cutaway clip now if it did end up working. These are the kind of videos I love so much because I just enjoy being creative. That's part of the reason I'm on YouTube and I do what I do. I'm such a stereotypical lefty, like right brain, left-handed person. Up next is this funny looking hanger. I'm pretty sure this is designed to hang your belts or ties. I think it could be great for hanging your tank tops. I have so many different tank tops that are similar styles, but just a bunch of different colors. So you could just hang them from these little hooks and you could keep seven tank tops on one hanger and save space. Next up are these clear plastic containers with the lids. I just thought these would be great for my under the sink bathroom organization. And because they are the clear bins, I can see what's inside each one. This is a cute little flower vase that I thought would also look great in your kitchen for organizing and storing your kitchen utensils, especially if you have kind of a shabby chic vibe going on. So this clear glass jar I had to show because I have bought these recently from World Market and Target for a couple different videos I've done and they were like half the price at Ikea. So from this point forward, if I need a glass cookie jar, I'm going to get them from Ikea. This clear plastic cereal container you can use in your car as a car garbage can. I actually showed this idea in my car organization video from like two years ago, and I think that this size and shape container would work really well. You also could use this to put your dog or cat food in. So this little guy I got solely because it's adorable. I don't know what this is supposed to be used for, and I'm a little stumped. I haven't thought of a good use for this, so let me know in the comments if you have any ideas. Maybe bobby pins, mints, I don't know. So this is a felt drawer organizer, and I thought that the shape of this would be perfect for organizing your bras. It has kind of the raised center. Now, this drawer organizer has the deeper compartments to it, and for this, I want to use it for Carter's toys. So he has his little toy bugs, 
Legos, blocks, whatever. I could put them in this and keep them compartmentalized. And lastly, I got this word divider. It is larger with the more shallow compartments. And for this, I wanna use it for organizing sunglasses and jewelry. So I was thinking I could put sunglasses here, bracelets or earrings here, and chokers in these compartments. This container of 30 clothespins, I believe was only $3. I think that is a great deal. And I'm probably going to use these in my kitchen to close up chip bags or popcorn bags. And they are my favorite color, so it just makes them that much more exciting. These circular felt organizing bins caught my eye. They all have different color thread lining, and I think they're really cute. And my vision for this is using these in Carter's nursery and I was going to put maybe his socks in one, his bibs in one, just different baby products in these guys. They have so many different shapes, sizes, colors, patterns of organizing bins. This is the only one that I got, just a plain white one, but they have them in the cardboard like this, they have them in plastic, they have them in cloth. So if you need bins for garage storage, clothing storage, office storage, Ikea is a great place to go just for the variety and how inexpensive they are. They also have these types of drawer organizers so you can segment your clothing drawers and put you know, t-shirts in one, sweaters in another. They had a bunch of different colors and sizes and patterns, but I thought these ones were pretty. You can get an inexpensive Ikea canvas picture or frame and use it for under the bed shoe storage. I actually showed this in my small closet organization video, but this is one of my favorite organization ideas. It's a great way to utilize otherwise dead space. I love this wall mounted tiered file holder rack. And what I like about this is that it's very flush to the wall. It doesn't take up a lot of space like a full on file cabinet would. I'm going to use this to store and organize some of our paperwork. I am self-employed, so I have to keep track of my receipts and bills and invoices and things like that. Pivoting wall mounted towel rack I thought could be used in your closet for storing your tank tops, scarves, ties, belts. All right, so that is going to be it. I think we've done enough damage for one trip to Ikea. If you did enjoy this and you want me to do more Ikea focused organization videos, maybe a dedicated Ikea kitchen organization or Ikea bathroom organization, then let me know by giving this a thumbs up or leaving a comment down below. That's how I decide what future videos I'm going to make. So I really appreciate your feedback. And with all of that said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye. Here's what I want to know. Who is this Susan woman? Why was she so lazy? What happened to Susan? What happened to Susan? What happened to Susan? Hello, I'm Susan. Yes, the Susan. Here she is in all of her glory. This is a lazy Susan on a lazy Susan. For years, people had to reach across tables like Neanderthal. Well, I'm too lazy for that. Now all I do is a flick of the wrist and I have anything I want. Do you know that every time a Lazy Susan is sold, I make five dollars? There are literally millions of Lazy Susans sold. Millions times five. I am the richest and laziest person in the world. I am rich Lazy Susan. I just made a million dollars just now and I was doing nothing. And another million. I have a message for you. Go away.